morning. Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. I hate to say this because I know how you like to sleep in, <laughs> but it's time to change those clocks again. So I'm giving you a good, over a good week's notice. <laughs> so Sunday, March the 14th, is Daylight Savings Day. Spring forward, so you're going to lose that extra hour of sleep. Some studies have been done about daylight saving causing consequences for some people. Yeah, especially me. I'm one <laughs> of those people. The Swedish actually did a study and they found that the risk of having a heart attack actually increases the first three weekdays after daylight saving starts. Wow, didn't yeah. know that. It increased traffic accidents. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. People being in a hurry and not setting their times mm -hmm. accordingly. And then it causes more workplace injuries, has been leaked, linked to that, miscarriage and in vitro fertilization patients, you know. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Until. I didn't know that either. That was kind of an interesting mm -hmm. um, fact. Um, and other studies from the Danish and Australia found that 11% increased in depression and male suicide um, rate increase, which mm -hmm. some of these studies, I don't know um, how they come about, but right. they're, they're kind of interesting. Um, however, the studies find all of this passes during the following days after daylight saving time starts. So that's, that's, that's a good. And here are some tips to help the transition easier. Adjust, adjust your body clock, wake up earlier than normal, a week before you change your clock. That's a good way to do it, like store. That's like when the kids go back to school, after they've been out the summer, you want to get them adjusted to right. back on a set schedule. So That's true. And then you want to eat a good breakfast. Um, this will tell your body that it's time to start your day. To me, when I eat, it just tells my body that I'm hungry and i got to <laughs> feed it. But <laughs> we'll try it. Um, and go for a walk in the sunlight and exercise. Um, this will help adjust your body clock um, yeah. as well. Go to bed earlier than normal. When you go to bed on Saturday, remember to set your clocks ahead one hour daylight saving time and it starts at two o'clock. So that's mm -hmm. Saturday, set your clocks. Right. And, right. and the good news is for all of you who work uh, <laughs> night shift, everyone's trying to, you know, let's hurry up and get our work done and let's see who would be the fastest one to the time clock. Well, on this day, you actually get away with leaving one hour earlier than your shift ends. And always <laughs> be prepared and uh, prepare yourself ahead of time. That's why we're bringing you all this information um, a week or so ahead of time. And uh, make sure you're just ready for that uh, time change. Also, remember to remind day shift to set their yeah. clocks ahead as well. Uh, make it a team effort. Make the transition smooth for other coworkers, your family members, as well as your residents also. Yes. Well, that's all we have for today. Remember the clock and come back next week for Everyday CNA.